So today we have another update from ChatGPT, as you can see right here, and they have released a huge threat to Google, which is ChatGPT search, but it's completely free for anyone to use now, which means that they're basically aiming for mass adoption. So this is part of the 12 days of OpenAI. We're on day number eight, as you can see right here. Uh, basically, the new announcement is that ChatGPT will be available for free. It's faster on mobile. There's been some big updates in terms of ChatGPT's actual market share when it comes to search. And essentially, you can see here on this new update on the 16th of December 2024, ChatGPT search is now available to all logged in users in regions where ChatGPT is available. So anyone who's on the free plan can use it. Anyone who's logged in can use it. Or if you're on the mobile plan, you can use it. And additionally, this is a big update. The ChatGPT advanced voice mode now allows search as well. So this is going to be super interesting. You can see basically this is how it works. So ChatGPT can now search in the web way better than before. It's faster, gives you better answers, and it's much easier. And here's the thing. You can see they hinted at this. So they've said you can get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources. Pretty standard. Nothing amazing there. Nothing insane there. But which would have previously needed to go to a search engine for, right? So you can see essentially they're just trying to wipe out the need for a search engine because you can use ChatGPT search instead. Now, we're going to be looking at how it works, what the new updates mean, whether it's actually better than Google will compare side by side. And additionally, one of the things that we're going to be talking about is how you can rank inside here. So if you have a business, if you have a website that you want to rank inside ChatGPT search, I'll show you what's working for me. And I'll show you some proven case studies based on that, along with how the market share with some actual facts is changing for ChatGPT search, because that is skyrocketing. And it's scary stuff for Google, I'll tell you that for free. So you can see here, they've also said, we are convinced that AI search will be in the near future, the next generations, a primary way to access information and partnering with open AI positions, chat GPT at the front of search, right? So they're coming for search engines. This is a big announcement. And let's just open it up and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if we go into chat GPT hitch, you can see that, for example, you can search the web. Now, bear in mind as well, they've just released chat GPT canvas which is available for free also. So you can imagine that they're trying to get mass adoption here. And if people are using ChatGPT Canvas for, for writing content, then they're also going to be using the search inside there, right? They're probably not going to go back to Google or back to other search engines just to figure that out. So let's take a look at some examples of, of what you can see inside the search. So one of the best things about this is it is linking directly to the website. As you can see right here inside the sources. But one of the biggest issues is it is only really linking to one right now. I can imagine that chat GPT search is going to release advertising at some point where businesses, once there's mass adoption for this on search, businesses can start using this to advertise their business. And you can just sneak in at the top right there like you can with Google. But you can see, for example, here, the main option is sourcing basically the first page of Google. So if we go onto Google here and we'll type in the same keyword, you can see my pages rank at the top and they rank inside the top of ChatGPT as well. So if you're optimizing for Google SEO, then you're optimizing for ChatGPT search as well. They're one and the same. But here's one of the biggest differences, and I've seen this across pretty much every single search inside ChatGPT when I'm looking for information, is that they also link to YouTube videos. You can see, for example, it's got a YouTube video link right here. This is on a relatively new channel with not many subscribers, but they still link out to it. And then you can see they actually embed YouTube videos directly in the search. Now, out of all of these, I don't know if there's a big chance of you going to this website unless you're initially looking to buy straight off the bat because you've got the information inside the search. But what you would do is you would click, for example, to open this video because it's just so easy. Right? And I think optimizing for video is massive in 2025, right? This is the way the search is going because then you rank in ChatGPT, you rank on Google, you rank on YouTube, and it's also creating high converting content that creates a lot of social proof, right? Now, these videos can be automated with AI. I've got loads of training on that, so I won't go too deep into it today. But if you want to check that out, just check out my free course, link in the comments description, and you'll see loads of training on how to create these AI videos that actually rank inside AI and ChatGPT and YouTube and everything else. Way easier and faster than ranking your website. Now, let's look at a couple of very interesting studies. So this is from Search.com. And basically what they're talking about is the announcement from ChatGPT. So they've said ChatGPT today just made ChatGPT search now available to all free users, right? And this article talks about the change in market share for ChatGPT, right? So for example, ChatGPT is now six times larger than one of its biggest competitors, 
Perplexity, which is another kind of AI search engine. If you've never seen that before, this is what it looks like. You can go in here, you can type something similar. So the same sort of response as you can see, and it'll actually quote more sources. So it's not just got one link at the top, it's got many, but again, look at that video is just absolutely flying on perplexity on chat gpt on ai right because all of these channels number one trust youtube and number two they know that youtube the video content is what users want to see right that's why you're watching this video right here you probably wouldn't read my blog about this topic but you would watch my video about it and that's my whole point here is like if you're not using youtube to leverage your seo strategy you're missing out you're missing out on thousands of customers so let's get back to the response right here and you can see they've said chat gpt first perplexity According to an LLM referral analysis of November traffic by Bright Edge, search traffic from ChatGPT is up 44% and Perplexity up 71%, right? So both of these platforms are referring more traffic than ever. And, and this is something you need to be thinking about now because the, the way that SEO is going is it's going to change massively over the next sort of 12 months. And you can see that every day on my new case studies and that sort of thing. So if you go back, you can see that Google is still far and away the leader with 92.4% of referral traffic from, coming from Google. Bing's market share is only 4.2. But if you haven't seen this already by a search engine roundtable, right? Basically what they're talking about, and this was a case study from Rand Fishkin. I think a lot of people watching this already know who he is. A bit of a legend in the game. And you can see here, they've estimated the search share of the whole market, right? And you can see Google's is around 83% according to this case study. So obviously things change case study to case study. It depends where they're measuring the data, where they're measuring the referral traffic, etc. what they're actually measuring in the first place. But you can see here, chat GPT has risen to four point Google, 83%, YouTube, 6.7%, right? Now YouTube is a key here. So this is not just generating traffic inside the platform, but also generating traffic inside Google, inside chat GPT, inside Bing, right? Perplexity, etc. YouTube is monetizing it all and people don't even realize this. Now, here's the final case study that I want to show you, which is from yahoo.com. And they've actually identified the Google search share slipped from June to November and that ChatGPT actually gained market share, which makes sense, right? Like, I don't know about you, but for me, I use ChatGPT more and more to get information, particularly when it's very personalized. And typically the answer is ChatGPT because it has my own custom prompts, which means the responses I get from ChatGPT search are way better versus the responses I get from Google, which has like a generic feel to it. Now, here's the interesting thing. So in a recent survey of 1000 people, OpenAI's chatbot was the top search provider, 5% of respondents. And that's up from the 1% in June, right? So it's gone from 1% to 5%. Now, I don't know if ChatGPT can ever truly catch up because there's billions of searches happening on Google, right? It's just absolutely outrageous how many people use Google. But is that market share gonna go up with ChatGPT? particularly after the new updates, absolutely. We'll be looking at how ChatGPT search works in a minute, but essentially are more people gonna be switching from Google to ChatGPT? And is that trend going to continue? Absolutely, in my opinion, particularly the newer generation, the younger generation, right? Because that's what they prefer. They want fast information. That's why TikTok is so popular. And not only that, right? So if you look at the general adoption of ChatGPT over time, you can see the demand on Google Trends. So this is all the trending information the, the demand for chat GPT is just increasing like massively, particularly since August, 2024, you can see that that was rated at 47 on Google trends right here. And gradually that score has increased to a higher level of demand th than ever before. More people are intrigued by it. More adoption is happening. If we flip this to worldwide, you can see the same trend worldwide. So it's a hundred out of hundred this month. And because chat GPT releases so many features and because they're all free and easy to adopt and Bear in mind, these were previously paid services. The demand for ChatGPT search is, is only going to increase, I think. And the market share for ChatGPT search is, is only going to increase as well. So this is the original case study from Evercore. So they're looking at basically like the adoption of ChatGPT and search. Now, what's interesting is in terms of user satisfaction, so not a lot of people say like they prefer ChatGPT over Google. I certainly do. But actually in this case study, they saw that there were few situations where ChatGPT actually beat Google on satisfaction, right? By a wide margin. So most of the time, like, people get a very similar experience on Google as they do on ChatGPT in terms of satisfaction. But the thing that I see with ChatGPT is it's always adapting, right? It's always changing. It's always innovative. So imagine what ChatGPT version 10 is going to be like. It's, it's just going to do everything. So for example, like people learning skills, tasks, help with writing and coding productivity, like for sure, ChatGPT is going to beat Google 
of those specific things. Now, the other thing to note here is like Google knows how to monetize search traffic, right? Which means that if it gets a 1% share, then that's worth 2 billion a year, roughly in revenue. But only if you can make money from search queries as Google does, right? Whereas if you go into chat GPT, they're already spending a lot of money. Even back in August last year, so 2023, it was costing $700,000 to run chat GPT daily, right? And bear in mind, they don't really monetize this product in search, right? They do obviously have paid promotions in terms of ChatGPT Pro, which is $200 a month. And you've got ChatGPT Plus, which is expensive too. But Google actively knows how to monetize search traffic, which kind of gives it an advantage because there's no point getting all that traffic for search unless you're actually monetizing it, making money as a business, right? Now, the other thing as well, you may say, okay, what's happening to Google? Where are they going? Their share price is higher than ever. They've had a great run, even over the last sort of year and a half. Even after all the controversy, all the rulings that I've talked about on my channel previously, even year on year, they're up 44%, right? And so it's not like they're struggling right now. ChatGPT search might look like a big threat to Google, but actually judging by the share price and the growth of Google, they're doing pretty well. In fact, they've performed better since ChatGPT actually got released. So I don't think it's like people are going to switch to one or the other. I think there's just going to be more adoption of, of ChatGPT search as this new update gets released. Now let's look at a local search, right? So we've looked at the main searches in terms of information, how it ranks, it actually takes a lot of YouTube content. It typically takes similar results to the first page of Google. If we actually look at ChatGPT 4.0 on search for local listings, what you can see here is it comes up with a maps listing, right? So you can see the maps listings here, and then it's plotted like the top 10 or top eight listed restaurants on the first page of Google. And you can see that most of them have reviews, right? So for example, You've got reviews on each of these restaurants. And I would assume that the reviews being fed in here are still coming from Google, right? Now, if we actually compare that to say Google side by side, so what we can do is we can set up a new tab here, comparing the listings from Google versus ChatGPT. Number one, the actual listings are very different. Right? So for example, this is recommended Manor, French, Hawksmoor. If you look at Google's results, they've recommended Higher Ground, El Gato, and Another Hand. But what's interesting here is it's not actually feeding in any blog content, right? So it's not linking out. The results in ChatGPT don't have like 10 pages of results. It's just going to cut straight to the chase, give people the information as fast as they can. Now, if we switch to map listings, you can see that you can scroll through them. If we go on the sources here, it does source the information, but I just don't see anyone clicking on that down there. Maybe like 0.1% or something. I think most people are going to be going straight on here, clicking on the website, boom, shakalaka, I've got my result. Right? But honestly, I wouldn't say that gives a better experience than using something like Google directly, especially if you've got the Maps app installed on your phone. Probably just going to go straight to that, right? So we've covered the change in market share for ChatGPT. We've covered what the new features mean from the new search update that came out. We've talked about whether Google or ChatGPT gives the best information. And I think for learning skills, ChatGPT is the best. For general information, I would say they give a very similar experience, for example, like maps listings and that sort of thing. Now, just to recap on the three main changes. So number one, ChatGPT search is free. Number two is available in advanced voice mode. And number three is actually faster, three times faster on mobile. Now, I've also got a case study here on how to rank inside ChatGPT search. I cover exactly how I did it step by step. There's some video notes and an SAP on exactly how to do that. If you want to get access to that plus 200 chat gpt seo prompts tips tutorials workflows and everything here comes with an SAP and a step-by-step -step tutorial along with screenshot proof of exactly how it worked step by step if you want to get access to all of this feel free to get it link in the comments and description we'll show you exactly how it works the way that i see it is basically there's three things and i go into much more depth inside the video notes obviously it's outside the scope of this video but number one you want to be optimized for YouTube. And if you want to learn how to do faceless YouTube video automation or how I grow on my own YouTube channel, you can get all the tutorials inside this free SEO course. Number two is like optimizing the same way that you rank on Google. So if you look at the listings inside ChatGPT, these are basically following the same principles that, that Google SEO follows. And so you would implement those, for example, keywords, content, backlinks, they're the foundations. And number three is brand mentions. So for example, if you can get multiple mentions across multiple websites like you can see on the first page of google here and here and for that keyword then when you go inside these ai search models like you see for example in Plexity here you can see that it will link and source directly to the websites that we've ranked on with multiple mentions and then it will recommend you inside the search results right here right and so there are the three updates now i show exactly how to implement this inside this course 
along with all of these modules inside my free SEO course. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to build it in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bids this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. Now on this free SEO link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan that's custom tailored to your business. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have and normally SEO consultants are trying to charge you thousands of dollars for that. We just give it to you for free. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.